Good evening, my friends. I want to record a video before I go home and perhaps uh, I should discuss again anything about travel. Okay? Kasi yun ang kabisado ko. Kasi nga, lakotsera ako ba? <laughs> okay, so perhaps you would ask, bakit ba si LVA pabalik-balik si Elmido? Bakit ba si LVA papunta-punta lagi? Nakailang beses na nagpunta ng Bohol. Bakit ba si LVA gustong-gustong makarating sa Great Wall of China? Those are the questions. And uh, why am I going back to Ho Chi Minh in, in April? Why am I going back to Hong Kong in February? Yung mga ganun. Bakit may mga lugar na binabalikan? Okay? So, uh, ano ba ang primary considerations? Kung ano? Of course, in, iset aside natin yung budget ha. Kasi, although it's a consideration. Okay. Uh, ang mga bagay, ang mga ano ba yun, powers or shall I say purpose why I go to a place are the following. Okay. Number one is the purpose why I'm going there. So to explain that, like for example, uh, one time I, <laughs> I was so down uh, and uh, so I made a rush trip to Boracay. Because I want to, you know, sit in the sand and you know have the, have, feel the breeze of the water and then comfortably sit in the sand. And so I traveled to Boracay. Nagbook ako talaga via Mindoro. Tapos sumakay ako sa barko. Pumunta sa Boracay. And of course, pumalik na kaya plano lang ako. So yon. If you want the sand, you have the one, the sand, the sunset, the, the. Ano pang may prefer na Boracay? Powdery sand. Kasi powdery sand talaga sila. At mahaba, no? So, then you go to Boracay. Okay? Pero ang Boracay, wala yung churches. Wala yung... Yan, wala siya. Okay? So, it depends on the purpose. Like, for example, one time in 2002 yata, eh, pinag-uusap ko nila ang Banawi. Eh, yung mga foreigner na gusto-gusto kong karating sa Banawi, eh, hindi pa ako nakakating sa Banawi. <laughs> Pinag-aaralan natin sa textbook ba? Sabi ko, puto ako sa Banawi. So in short, I went to Banawi. I rode a uh, bus somewhere there in Sampalo. Actually, ang dali lang naman eh. Diba? Overnight trip, nandun ko na sa Banawi. Alam mo, pagkakita ko sa mga stereo sa stereo, gusto kong halikan. O, oh, namalayo siya. So beautiful! My gosh! And then, um, you know, uh, and you know, the work of, the wonder, the wonder of how the Ifugaos made it. So I want to see the, the Banawi rice terraces. So, I went there, and then since I'm there already, then I even traveled yung, alam mo yung highway na piso na lang papunta langit. <laughs> Klaabi, ang hirap ng biyay na yun. Piso na lang talaga papunta langit. Alam mo yung edge na yung ganyan. Tapos wala siyang, wala siyang, ano, wala siyang tabihan, something. I traveled from Banawi to Sagada, and back on a jeep. Na, ako yung nasa ibabaw ng jeep. So, can you just imagine? I did that <laughs> So anyway, so that's it. Because I want to go to Banawe and I want to go to also have uh, feel the culture of Sagada. Because I, I read about Sagada, about the teachers, about people speaking English, and of course the hanging coffins, the Echo Valley and all that. So I went there to witness myself. And in fact, I even went down to uh, I mean, Sumaging Cape. <laughs> So, maging kayo mo ano, white blouse kasi Sunday, no? Nagsimba ako. So, anyway. So, hindi ko naman alam. Wala pa akong kalam alam sa travel. Anyway. So, yun. And then, like, for example, if you... I, I, I brought a lot of people to Bohol. You know, I like Bohol because it it's a compendio yeah, of uh, a lot. Like, for example, if you want churches, the most beautiful churches are there. If you want... Um, Chocolate hills, naturals, being, not being found elsewhere. And then the cute Tarshir, my gosh. You know, my daughter, when, when she went to South Africa, she, she brought the Tarshir. The people are amazed. Where, is this creature, where are these creatures from? Then there is the Bohol River Cruise. And then the, meron pang snake. Oh, ako ako doon. May snake pa siya. And of course, the Bilar Forest. No? Yung mag-stop ka sa road. Tapos mapapicture ka. Too risky. My God, ang bilis ang masasakyan. But there is a man-made forest there in Bilar. No? Na pinatinanin ni President Carlos P. Garcia. So I like I like Bohol because of that. And of course, there's Hinagdanan Cave. And of course, if you want to see, my gosh, ang ganda ng boat ano doon. There is the, 
and the Balikasag for the dive. And then there is a uh, white sand in ano pangalan noon? White Island ba yun? I can't remember. Basta may sign bar. Yung naka-yellow ako. Yun yun. <laughs> and then there is the dolphin. At in March, ang daming dolphin doon. So, ang ganda ng buhol, di ba? Kasi, and the, the people. Oh my gosh. The people are there. Of course, there's another discussion. So, yun, no? Di ba? And then, uh, why do I want, why do I go to, um, ang tag dito? Why did I go to Koron while I have been going to El Nido for quite some time. Alam mo kung bakit? Kasi, yung Koron, unang-una mahala pa masahe. Eh, nakakuha ako ng 599 na ticket. O, di ba saan ka pa? Diba? Pangalawa, ang Koron ang lapit-lapit lang sa Mindoro. And yet, pag dinilan mo yung map, yung Bulalakaw, the tip of Oriental Mindoro, ang lapit lang sa Koron. And yet, hindi kami nakakarating. Diba? Pangalawa, people are comparing El Nido and Koron. So, in short, as a traveler at lacochera.com <laughs> I should know! Dapat makita ko ano ang difference ng Koron at saka El Nido. Grabe yung pagka-adi ko dun, to be honest. Alam mo ba, inoperahan ako November 2 sa paa. Nandun ako noong November 14. <laughs> I asked naman clearance from my doctor. Sabi niya, wag ko lang daw babasain. Pero nung nakita ko yung, isa, yung isla where the two Two seasons? Two seasons is located? What's the... Party siya ng ano, Malkapuya tour. Grabe, ang ganda ng isla. Tapos meron siyang, meron siyang strip ng sandbar. Ang ganda-ganda talaga. Grabe, ang ganda talaga. Sumigaw talaga ako. Kasi I've been so many to many places, pero napakaganda ng isla na yun. So, <laughs> so yun. Um, because you want to compare. No? Of course, I was not able to dive because nga, I followed diligently, religiously the advice of the doctor. I was not able to snork and all. So, hindi ko nakita yung mga wreck. So, babalik ako doon. And of course, the famous Kayangan Lake. Babalik talaga ako sa Puron. Anyway, so yun. Uh, so, maybe you will ask also why I traveled to China. As in, ilang beses, di ba? Ilang beses na-cancel yung trip ko nung nalakawan ako, etc. Patatong try ko yata ba ako nakarating sa Great Wall. Tapos, nung pagdating ko doon, di ba winter na hindi ko naman na plano. Tapos, pinapauwi na ako ng mga anak <laughs> Why I went to China? Because I want to see the Great Wall. Bonus na lang na, na, na pumunta ako doon na may snow. Hindi ko talaga ina-expect na may snow, honestly. Because I was in Shanghai at uh, 14 degrees. So would, who would expect that when I arrive in Beijing, it's negative 3. And then the following day, snow na. Diba? So God must be really very, very good and very kind to me. Diba? So yun. Um, yun. Y yung, yung place itself, yung, yung, um, yung reason why you're there. Because it's, China is one of the seven wonders of the world. Come on. So, pati hindi ako pupunta doon. Di ba? Eh, mag magaling ako sa Oriental History. Mag <laughs> Ni naman. Nung high school talaga, gusto, gusto ko yung Oriental History. Ming Dynasty, Tang Dynasty. Yung mga ganun, yung the power of China. Talagang, ah, nako. Sobrang fascination ko doon. And pangalawa, I went, I went to Guilin in April 2018 with my college classmates. Doon ko naman na-appreciate. In fairness, ha, ang ganda talaga ng China. Ang ganda niya. Um, marami siyang mga natural wonders at ang ganda ng mga mountains niya. Ang ganda ng mga ano tawag doon? Mga mountains curve in ano, the river. The, Li, the Li River ba yun? Doon sa cruise ng Saguilin. Ang ganda. <laughs> Iba. So in short, the reason, yung purpose. Of course, like when you go to Bohol, there are times, like, like I go to Naga for my pilgrimage every uh, September, although I don't know So, yon, uh, pilgrimage, no? Of course, I go to El Nido for the sand, and you know, El Nido is very, very beautiful because of the tarawas, and of course, there is this even marameg meg, diba? Yung parakang nasa. Uh, there is a place I went to in Bali, parehong pareho, pero mas maganda pa rin ang marameg meg. Sorry, Uchi. But yes. Um, there is that place in when the Las Cabanas, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda. Tapos pag nakita mo yung, yung sa El Nido talaga, discuss, kulang isang oras para discuss ko sa inyo kung nako, ano siya kaganda. The lagoons, the, the, the small lagoon, the big lagoon, and then the, the ano, I conquered my fear. Eh. Hindi ako marun lumanguhi ha, and yet nakapasok ako sa ano, uh, secret beach. Yung secret beach, for all you know, lalangoy ka sa ilalim para ka makarating sa loob ng beach kasi wala siyang opening. So you can just imagine, di ba? Ganun ako ka lakas ang loob. <laughs> and of course, the Matinlok Shrine. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. So in short, 
you go there, yung purpose mo, ano ang ba, ano gusto mo. Like for example, I go to Vietnam because number one, I was fascinated. The first trip I went, I went to Vietnam is with my college classmates when we went to the Halong Bay, no? Na hindi mo masyado maganda. Mas maganda pa ang koron. To be honest. In fairness, ha? Pero at least, eh, kasi doon nag-shooting ang James Bond, di ba? <laughs> at saka parang wonder, wonder din niya. Pa but I learned a lot from there and was very happy with my classmates. So this is the first time I went to Hanoi. And then I was amazed by their culture. Grabe, alam mo ba yung Hanoi kahit na... At saka yung kasi, sorry ha, meron kasi akong ano sa Vietnam history, yung Vietnam War. Napanood ko na lahat yan, yung mga, mga sine ng mga tungkol sa Vietnam War, even the musicals and all that. So meron akong fascination sa mga Vietnamese. So anyway, tapos nakita mo yung culture nila, no? nagsusuot talaga sila ng costume nila kahit sa church. Tapos doon sa church pa nga, kami siyempre hindi mo alam mo kami kaalam alam. Ah, opo kami kahit sa... Yung pala, wala yung babae at saka lalaki doon pala. Parang lal babae sa left, lalaki, lalaki sa left, babae sa right. Oh my gosh. Nakakahiya, di ba? So, ay, just ko, mga kumblaw, di mag na kumblaw di kami. Nandun kami, hindi namin alam. But, eh, ano ba? Gusto namin swim. <laughs> so, anyway, so, yun. Uh, so, yun. And, you know, like, for example, in Hanoi, tuwan-tuwa ako doon kasi uh, nakita ko yung mga babae, nagtatay chi ay, ang, ang tatanda na nila. After nila magbalike, tapos magtatayichi sila. Di ba? So, yun. It's the, it's really the purpose of the place. Yeah, I think it's the purpose of the place. Uh, siguro yun muna, no? Kasi, mahaba yung video ko. <laughs> so, maybe, yeah. Sige, yes, mabilis lang, no? So, I went to Hanoi because of that. And then, I went back to Ho Chi Minh because I want to see the remnants museum at gusto ko maranasan yung Kuchi Tunnel, yung yung tunnel na kaya nanalo sila no sa Vietnam War yung mga, mga Vietnamese. I went to Thailand because I um I want to go to the Temple Run, Wat Arun, Wat Po, and of course the Golden Temple. Kasi ano ako doon eh, marami akong dinadala nung panahon na yon. And I have a I have a Buddhist friend who told me, why don't you go to the temples of Thailand? So I went there. Uh, it's actually a, a Vietnamese, Vietnam, Hong Kong, uh, ano, uh, Thailand tour. And then uh, I went to uh, Cambodia. Of course, please go there. Huh? The, hindi ko alam kung bakit masyadong walang pumupunta doon. Angkor Wat is one of the best and holiest temples in the world. For me, ha? Although hindi pa naman ako nakarating sa iba. Pero ang ganda-ganda talaga niya. Okay? And then, um, I went to Bali kasi naiintriga ba ako? Kasi para lang siyang Pilipinas. Pero bakit ang daming turista? <laughs> Di ba? Pag tinignan mo yung profile, bakit ka pa nakarating sa Bali? Pag tinignan mo, para lang siyang Pilipinas. May rice fields, may ano... The beaches are not good. Sorry, the beaches are not good. Pero yung culture, tapos yung meron silang Holy Spring, tapos meron silang Green Village, tapos meron silang Jay Harding Jewelry, tapos meron silang uh, meron silang Uluwatu, meron silang Tan. Ano pa nga? Oh my God, number one, that that temple, another temple. Ang dami nilang magaganda. Sabi ko. And, and it's all it's all in one place. You can actually visit Bali in two to three days. You can capture everything. Naging curious lang ako dun sa movie na It Pray Love ni ano eh, ni ni ni, ni uh, Jewelry Roberts. Okay. So anyway, it's the purpose of the place. And that's the reason why uh, my dream destinations are many pa. Marami pa. And I will catch it in another vlog. So, enjoy! So, that's Yun muna, the first P actually of what I look up to in going to a place is the purpose, the place. The purpose, why I'm going there, and the place itself. What is the place has to offer to me What that I cannot find in Mindoro, that I cannot find in Cavite, that I cannot find in Manila, where I'm based. Okay, so yun muna, the purpose and the place. Okay, so I hope you enjoy my vlog. And, ah, vlog ba? Okay, I, enjoy, I hope you enjoy my video and... Let's continue to explore the world. You know, the world is so beautiful. And you know, travel is not expensive. Huh? Travel is an opportunity. A chance. To, a chance to love. A chance to be grateful. And a chance to appreciate the beauty of what you have. And to explore the beauty of what they have. And bring with you the lessons learned from your travel. 
God bless you guys and I'm so happy to be with you and medyo naigalo ko yung kamay ko. <laughs> God bless you and happy traveling. Come on! Life is a journey. It's not the destination but it's the journey. God bless. Mama.